Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're talking a couple of tips when it comes to backhanding the baseball, okay? First, before we get into the actual mechanics of it, I just want to talk about a couple of different things when it comes to backhand play because I get a lot of questions about this, all right? So there's a couple different types of backhand plays that you're going to make, all right? The first backhand play is what I call an inside the body backhand play, okay? And I learned this uh, when I was with the Nationals. We talked a lot about this. We practiced this play an awful lot, all right? And what it is is it's a ball that's hit to our right, a ball that we may, we may, it's borderline, but we may be able to get to the right of the ball and field it here, or we may be able to get to the right of the ball and field it one-handed here. But here's the thing. We'll use this play when it's a fast runner or a slow hit ball, where yes, we may be able to get around it. It's gonna be close, but we could. But the runner is too fast, okay? Or the ball's hit too slow. And if I make that play, he's safe. So an inside the body backhand allows us to take a direct angle. So we take a direct angle right here, and I'm just trying to get my right foot just past the ball, and now I'm gonna backhand this ball, okay? And the reason it's a really good play on a fast runner or a slowly hit ball to our right is because now my feet are aligned already. So all I have to do is backhand it, right to left, left to target, and I throw it, okay? So again, I'll do it a little bit faster, but again, this ball is just to my right, Ball's hit, it's a fast runner. Boom, I attack it this way, I break it down, I backhand it, and I can throw it. See how quickly my feet are lined up to throw that ball, okay? So that's one backhand. The other backhands you're gonna get are extended backhands. So those balls are hit over here, and these are the normal backhands that you think of, right? Ball's hit to my right, I'm gonna run this way for it, I'm gonna extend and field it. Now, sometimes you'll extend with your left foot forward. Sometimes you may have to extend with your right foot forward, okay? Either way, left or right, doesn't matter, but these balls are hit to my right, and again, I call them extended backhands because I'm gonna field it with my glove extended right here. The inside the body ones, right, my, the ball is a little bit more inside my body, so I'm not extended. So those are the main backhands you're gonna make. Now let's talk about the actual mechanics of fielding the backhand. Couple things to keep in mind. The first thing, the biggest thing, is that I want to make sure, and I don't know if it's the biggest thing, it's one of the bigger things, is that I want to make sure that I don't flash my glove late. So what I see happen a lot on backhand balls is the ball will be hit and the infielder will start to get to the ball and their glove is never presented to the ball. Their glove is kind of, usually, you'll see the back of the glove. And they'll get down the field and they'll get down like this. And then all of a sudden there's the ball and they flash the glove really late. Ah, so I call it a late flash or they just, I call it a late presentation. I'm not gonna be able to successfully get the ball in my glove if I'm doing this for two reasons. One, there's no pocket for the ball to go into it. So if you flash late, you never open the pocket. Two, the ball's coming hard at me already. I don't want hard hands. We've talked about that before. I want soft hands. And so when I do a late flash, look at how hard my hands become. When I present early, now I just catch the ball. Just like if someone's just gonna play catch with me and just throw me a ball right here, boom, I catch it. Boom, I catch it. I would never, someone's not gonna throw me the ball, I'm not gonna stand like this to the last second and then do that to catch the ball. You wouldn't be a very good catcher, okay? And so what I wanna feel is the second that I start to lower myself, so here I come, the second I start to lower myself, I start to present the glove, all right? Now I don't have any late flashes, I'm showing the glove to the ball. I tell the guys all the time, sounds real simple. There's two eyes inside my glove. I've got to present those eyes, show the eyes to the ball early. I can't wait till the last second. A lot of people think that's, you know, elementary. Go watch young kids take backhanders and just watch what their gloves do, how late they flash, right? Then go watch major leaguers and see how early they present the glove to the ball. That's the first thing that'll really help you. The second thing is I've got to play from the ground up. Okay, I've got to get my eyes in the action. I've got to play below the ball. Okay, this isn't just backhand, this is any ball, but I've got to play underneath the ball. And so when I'm going to get this ball, again, we'll do one, we'll go this way. I cannot play up high like this. Okay, 
If I play up high, first thing is, my eyes are up here, the ball's down there. Not gonna go in the glove as much as I want, okay? That's the first thing. Second thing is, when I play high, well now, if the ball bounces up into my glove, great, we'll, we'll probably feel it. But if the ball is anywhere lower than my glove, well then I'm gonna attack it from high to low. And that's when my hand becomes really hard again. Just like I said, if someone's throwing your ball, you wouldn't catch it like this. You just catch it. I'm trying to have soft hands. And so if I play high, I will always be hard on the ball with my hands. If I play from the ground up, if I get down, I'm gonna move this right here. If I get down here, my eyes are close to the ball. And now if the ball comes up, I can come up with it. My hands will be soft. If the ball stays down, my hands will be soft, okay? So it's key, you've gotta play from the ground up. Just like a good bunter, if you think about a good bunter, and I know bunting is not big in the game right now, but when a bunt has to take place and you've got someone that can really bunt, when they square to bunt, they get their eyes behind the barrel so they can see the ball. You would never be a good bunter. I've never seen a good bunter that would square like this and keep their eyes up here and their bat down there. I'm not, I don't have my eyes behind the barrel. I don't have my eyes literally on the ball. So I wanna feel like my eyes, I always say, get your eyes behind the glove, no matter what ball you're catching. All right, get the eyes behind the glove. The further my eyes get away from my glove, the harder it is to secure the catch. When my eyes are back behind my glove, that becomes much easier for me to secure the catch. All right, so that's really key. Another thing that we'll talk about is fielding the ball slightly in front, all right? So when I get down to field this ball, I don't wanna have, I don't wanna field it way back here. I wanna field the ball slightly out in front. The problem with the backhand is when I feel the ball too deep, so if I let the ball get way back here, what happens is my elbow becomes a block. So when that ball's coming in, if I'm too deep back here, right there, and it might be hard for you guys to see, obviously, because it's not from my perspective, but my elbow, my forearm, get in the path of the ball, and the ball disappears for a second. If I get out in front, out here, my elbow and arm get out of the way. Now I can see the ball the whole way, so I don't lose it. Back here, you block it out with your forearm. Out here, the forearm and the elbow get out of the way and I can see the ball into my glove, okay? So those are really some keys for fielding the backhand ball, okay? Um, if you just do those three things, make sure that I get rid of the forearm block, I get down low, I play low, I play from the ground up, and I present the glove early, not late, no late flashes, present the glove early. If I just do those three things, you will automatically become a much better fielder on the backhand ball, all right? So hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, share the video with all your friends, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.